everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you for joining me for today's video today's video is going to be a B&M haul I popped in there today and picked up some goodies I wouldn't say I got loads of stuff but I feel like the things that I got are nice and I'm happy with them one thing I will say about B&M though at the moment their garden range is so good they had two huge aisles of garden stuff and it was all just beautiful I was so tempted on it but we are kind of doing our garden up in like this long whole process of doing it up years <laughs> of doing it up and I tend to buy random stuff for the garden and then nothing ever looks right because I've just like plucked different things from different shops so I didn't buy anything from the garden range but I just wanted to let you guys know that it was really good I did film a vlog um going there today so I that will either be up before or after this video and I did film the garden footage in that vlog so if you do want to see a bit more of like what's new in B&M um I show a little bit more on that video but anyway let's get into today's haul so first up I actually have a big piece of furniture actually it's not big it's a small piece of furniture but it's a big item <laughs> um this is the folding table black metal base with rustic oak finished top um, I was looking just for a little side table to take to work. I'm a beautician and I have a studio which I use as a beauty salon. Um, and I just wanted to create a little waiting area outside of my studio where my clients could wait if I'm like overlapping a little bit. Um, so I picked up this, which is perfect because it's quite a nice big size. Where my studio is, it's kind of like a bunch of small businesses in one building. So I thought it'd be really nice to put this in the communal area and then put everybody's leaflets and stuff on it so that anybody that's visiting uh, can actually see what everyone else is doing in the building as well. So that was my plan. I'm going to do up a little area in the studio. But this is perfect. £14, absolute bargain. Rustic oak finished top. So it's going to look really nice. And it's just got the black base. I haven't even got to build it. Literally got to undo it. And the top pops up and then it's all done. So I've not even got to build it. Simple and it feels quite good weight actually. It doesn't feel too cheap even though it was only £14, so I'm pleased with that one. And then next up, I picked up this pot, which I actually have already got one of them. I showed it in a, my previous B&M video, but I went to pick up another one because I absolutely love it. My other one, I keep my porridge oats in. Um, this one, I'm gonna put my granola in. They're just so perfect for cereal. Um, they have this little spoon that comes with them, a little wooden spoon. They are sealed tight, so I haven't noticed like any air getting in or anything. So they're really good. They have like a seal around here. So I think they'll be fine for the granola. Really nice and thick. And I just love the look of it. And I'm just really enjoying having things like this out on the worktop because they look nice, but they're also something that I go to every day rather than putting everything back in the cupboard it's nice to have a little bit of like rustic decor around so things don't look too plain but it's not too out there because the color is very neutral um yeah and i mean obviously you could use it for anything but the fact that it comes with this little spoon i just love it so much it's so good only seven pounds and it's from the natural home range next up i picked myself up a little face mask it is a vitamin c sheet mask i actually haven't seen this one from garnier before i've probably tried all of their face masks but yeah i've never seen this one uh, the vitamin c one so when i saw that i thought oh, i need to grab that and try it out it's only 1.99 and it says super hydrating and brightening it's got vitamin c and hyaluronic acid and it's good for dull and uneven skin and it says it's infused with the quantity of one bottle of serum that's that's a lot isn't it we'll see how that goes but generally i do love the sheet masks from garnier okay next up two very boring things i have some toothpaste this is the advanced white whiter teeth in 10 days i find the toothpaste range in b&m pretty good they have a lot in there and they're all like way cheaper than the supermarket but sometimes i do wonder are they a little bit smaller because this is only 75 mil so I do think perhaps the actual packaging is a bit smaller so you don't get as much for your money as like if you're in a supermarket. Uh, this one's definitely smaller but I liked it because it was small. It's always in such a big container that if I go away I can't take it with me. So that is why I picked up this little one because I thought that would be perfect for using at home and it's also small enough that I can take it away. And also this is spearmint flavour. Oh hello doggies. You've come to join me. Coming up then. Hello. I swear I can't do a video without a doggy, can I? One of you will definitely join me. I'm sure they hear me talking downstairs and they're like, oh, who's she chatting to? And they come up to be nosy. Just a video. Oh, Belly, don't. I hope you guys can't see that. She's licking her bits. Belle, look. 
You can't just come up here, jump in front of my YouTube video and start licking your bits, can you? You need to be a little bit more ladylike, okay? Dylan's down there, but because I've got so much stuff around, he's like a bit scared to jump up. You can come up, Dills. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I picked this one up and it's in spearmint flavour, which I thought would be nice. I haven't actually had a spearmint one before. Next up, I have this hand wash, which I'm also going to take to work with me. Um, this is so good. I used this one at home already. Um, I used the pink one. I can't remember what the scent is. Belle, you can't make all these weird noises. Belly. You can stay, but like you're just making lots of strange noises and people are going to think it's coming from me. Oh, belly. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Ever since she was a puppy, we used to go to her like this when she was a puppy. And now all you've got to do is go to her. And she'll be like, and then she'll start chairing around the house, which she's doing now. Anyway, back to the soap. So I already used the pink one of these, which I can't remember. I think it might be peony and something. Really, really good hand soaps. I think they're one ninety nine. It's a huge bottle, five hundred ml. The packaging is really nice. They're also really, really good soap. They're lovely and thick. I always judge my hand soap by like how thick it is and how like gloopy. And this one is really nice and thick and gloopy. I didn't even smell this one actually. It's jasmine and white lily. Oh, that smells nice. It reminds me of something else. It smells very floral, but that's really nice. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd pick up this like nice plain white one and take that one to work with me. And then next up, I've picked up this little nail polish. I use this nail polish all the time, actually, the W7 one, but I have the shade Buff, which is my normal, I'm not wearing any at the minute. But if I have this kind of color on my nails, it's normally because I'm like in between going to get a manicure done. So I tend to then just put a regular polish on just to keep my nails looking a bit tidy. And I love the W7 nail polish. I have a shade very similar to this, which is called Buff, um, which I love. And this is called Latte. It's slightly lighter. Um, so I thought I'd get it just to be, you know, a bit more summery, I suppose. But it is just the perfect nude shade. I really hope you can kind of see what colour that is on camera. But it is just the most beautiful, cool toned nude shade. And yeah, I love it. And they last really well. And I think it was one pound... 29 or something like that really really affordable and they're a great nail polish and then last but not least my favorite item from the haul i think yeah this is my favorite look how gorgeous this is i am obsessed with this color at the minute this like rusty brown orangey color love it so much um this is from the natural home range again and it's in this beautiful textured vase which is really really nice and then it has all of these like faux flowers in it to be honest it was this one that made me want to buy it the rest of the flowers they're nice but i don't i don't really like this one um these stalk things are okay but yeah i mean i think altogether it looks really nice but there's a few in there that i don't particularly like i don't think you can take them out it's like glued in yeah the whole thing is like glued into the bottom so you couldn't really chop and change you could definitely add to it but you you can if you pulled it you'd pull it all out um, but I absolutely love this kind of like brown eucalyptus style stuff. I think it's a really nice colour. And I definitely want to incorporate some of this brown tone into my home. It's a little bit warmer. The home is very neutral, which I love neutrals. But I also love wood and brown tones. So I just think adding a bit of this will give it, a, I don't know, a bit of colour. It's not, I know it's not like the brightest colour in the world, but it's definitely a little bit of colour. Um, but this was £8 and yeah, I really love it. They had quite a lot in this natural home range and all of it was really nice, to be honest. I did struggle to choose which one that I liked best, but definitely the colour of this like drew me to it. So that is everything that I picked up in B&M today. I did say I didn't get as much as I usually would. I normally would have loads of cleaning stuff as well. I don't know why I didn't get cleaning stuff. They didn't seem to have any new bits in either. So it wasn't the biggest haul but I feel like I've got some good finds. But definitely go and check out that garden section if you're interested in it because it, it looked really good and they had a lot of stuff. I hope you guys are all doing very well and I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.